this exam just got a whole lot stricter. It's not surprising that this happened in the end, but the way these old timers seems to like to dismiss uh, the characters, it shows that this exam is way stricter than I expected. Hell, it's even more, it's almost like they're saying you need to look before you rescue. Not just uh, do uh, listen to your gut instinct of saving someone, but if you are delaying too long, you'll still get a minus point. So they seem to like to give minus points. So yeah, whatever is happening now, one have an idea. Hi, for those who are watching, it's the Angry Enemy Fan, the Despair Reviewer, bringing you chapter 110 of Boku no Hero Academia. It starts, of course, with Inasa's gelling out. It turns out that his uh, hero's name is Gale. It's, uh, and I thought for a moment, I thought his uh, quirk's name was Gale. It's pretty satisfying for the old timers to give him a minus points because even though they say that uh, uh, that he has precise control, he is still crude. And it also turns out that Kimi has disappeared. disappeared. Elsewhere, Shinji. Shinji or whatever, Shinki or whatever it na his name was, the first one who has uh, failed is sitting with his teacher. And this is actually pissing me off. He is having an R a talk. Uh, it's, it's almost like he is... I mean, that guy was always a man of ego, but it almost sounds like when he talks this way, Something like, uh, having petitioned a thirst year to take a test that normal second years take. The ability you have shown has certainly been accepted. However, getting too far ahead of yourself left you in lacking experience and in self-awareness. I mean, damn, that is so arrogant saying. And it's pretty... And, and his teacher is making points here. It's also worth noting that his teacher looks surprisingly afraid of him. Or maybe because he's afraid of what kind of things he showed. He's saying like, you do realize you're the one who failed so... You're the only one who failed and so quickly too. Because then he makes a perfectly good point. You all know that villains were greatly influenced by Stain, even though he technically did not want that. Turns out that there have also been some heroes that have been influenced by him. Because the teacher uh, says to... Shishukura, I mean his last name, is that ever since Stain appeared, it's been more and more widespread. Of course, uh, Flesh Guy uh, doesn't, for the first time actually, well not the first time, he has screamed before, but now he actually breaks his stoic against the teacher, saying, I will never be swayed by Villa's word. But the teacher, despite the fact that he looks afraid of him, saying, it's not absurd. It's not what... Well, and while he, uh, well, the teacher says it's not necessarily a bad thing to accept his fundamental views. I mean, his way on heroes is a way exactly how heroes of original comic books should be. Uh, he did say that Shishukura uh, was surrendering himself to hate uh, and uh, uh, and repetition and in the way he behaved way worse than any hero ever. He wasn't even a hero in that place, he was a villain. And I agree with that. A strange thing is the spoiler says that Kimi was also influenced by this, but there's not a single view here. Elsewhere the class is doing that. Urahara tries to save an old man, but it turns out that it's wrong. And it's pretty amazing that it's Momo who stops her pretty comically, and revealing that uh, this Debris is sim. Uh, a bit uh, unstable. I mean, Momo have always been one to analyze things quickly. She has, I think that's the reason for a quirk, but uh, still. And then we have some narrative that's saying that uh, not only do they have to know this uh, quirk, uh, it is also about strong understanding in the situation and uh, not waste resources. So, yeah. So they begin to. Uh, do all that, and Bakuga, well, he is actually gelling against the hostages. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? It's also pretty surprising that it's Denku tanks along along with him, with Kishimara. I mean, like, the hostages agree that um, slightly injured, and he saw saw through them, moving by themselves.
but it was still uh, being a bit crude. I mean, Bakugai is someone who actually can analyze the thing. He is just very jerkish in the, his behavior. And so Deku escorts them to what it seems to be a safe home, and the sleepy guy police officer is telling an unknown person that uh, it's going rather well, that uh, but, uh, but he also says there's fewer points than deduction. And so the final mysterious person appears. Deku believes it's a terrorist attack at the beginning, but no, this is actually for the first time part of the test. And we have actually seen this hero before. He was on the rescue team when they were gonna rescue Bakuga and stop the villain alliance once and for all. And his name is Gang Orca, a one who is currently ranked 10, and apparently he looks so villainous, so there is a looks most like a villain ranking, he is number 3. That means that there are some heroes that actually look so villainous that they are ranked in that one. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a bit dishonorable. I mean, I mean, it's very bad when you actually look uh, more evil than you when you're not actually that evil. Still, one wonders. Wonder if Endeavor is ranked number one in the most... Uh, uh, looks most like a villain. Well, Gang Orca seems to have some weird looking minions that looks just like that clone guy. And he screams to the class in a tell. With the parents of villains, the pursuit had begun. Hero cadets were in the location. You must suppress the villains. Mineta, of course, screams that this is overkill. And in a bit, the, but I, I on the other hand, would call this extremely strict. They must carry on the rescue efforts, protect the, protect the rescuees, and try to defeat Gang Orca, one who is very ranked strong. Protect and rescue is that meaning. And in a way, this is actually a well test, because if you think about it, in real situations, heroes may very well be in a need to save others when they are fighting a villain. So this is very, very strict training. The And actually, when I see this chapter, I'm actually be, uh, beginning to think, uh, maybe no one will pass. But this training is just so strict. But we'll see, won't we? All in all, some solid moments. The old timers were actually pissing me off, even though this is just how, how those in need should act. And also, Shishikura, I mean, I despise that guy almost as much as I despise Bakuga. It's also pretty scary to look at his teacher, the fact that he looks so scared. It's almost like he's saying our, uh, uh, our fears, like... It's almost like he's saying to us, you think you are trying to be a hero, but you were acting nothing like. However, the spoilers were said that Kami was also influenced by this. It turned out that that was a lie. But she has also escaped from the group. I have a feeling she is out there to cause trouble. Give me your thoughts if you have any.